revolver was the first ever I-beam carabiner. It reduces rope drag, can be used as a pulley and prolongs the life of your gear. When we invented the revolver, it needed to be lighter to balance the benefit of the roller. We completely redesigned the carabiner using hot forging to create a back with weight reducing panels. The world's first I-beam shaped carabiner was born. This technology now covers our whole range and is something other companies try to emulate. The revolver functions as a normal carabiner, but rope rolls over the pulley wheel with less friction, less force holding back a climber. Use them for big changes in direction to ease your rope around sharp corners and prevent friction lock. Under loading, they distribute more even forces through the system, which can be crucial if placements are marginal. When tackling bulges or roofs, they let your rope run smoothly around the bend. They are perfect for rigging hauling systems, improvising rescues, or helping a stuck or tired climbing partner, as they work as a small pulley and allow you to reduce your pulling forces. The roller is made of 7075 alloy and blends smoothly into the back of the carabiner so that the rope seats correctly. By rolling your rope, there is less wear and tear. Inside is a dry tube IGUS bearing, supported by a high tensile stainless steel sleeve over a high tensile stainless spindle. The bearing lubricates as it rotates, so it's maintenance free. It doesn't freeze and dirt can't get inside. The spindle won't deform unless subjected to a force around 11.5 kilonewtons. Even then, it will still function as a friction carabiner. They are available as a standard wire gate and screw gate. Also, a twist lock, which requires a twist before opening. It's spring loaded to automatically re lock for safety. The two stage lock safe needs a push, then a twist. It too locks automatically, perfect for users such as arborists who demand quick use with added security. Carry two or three revolvers to enjoy less friction, less rope drag and as pulleys for emergencies.